1976, the United States unveiled its latest development to the world, the nuclear-powered submarine Los Angeles. This event could not help but worry Moscow, which that same year set out to create a submarine capable of competing with the American model. The Soviet Union responded with the nuclear submarine Akula, which surpassed the expectations of both Soviet designers and Western critics. But first things first, here's military news. And here we go. So the Akula-class submarine, also referred to as Project 971, was a series of third-generation Soviet multi-purpose nuclear submarines developed by the Malakit Design Bureau. Production of the submarines was carried out from 1983 to 2001. Initially, there were plans to build 25 warships. However, in the end, only 15 sharks were launched. Eleven ships of this series are now in the northern and Pacific fleets, making them the most numerous multi-purpose nuclear-powered boats in the Russian Navy. Speaking of naming of the ships, there may be some confusion. Project 971 was named Akula in the West after the lead ship K-284. At home, the submarine was named Shuka B, thereby repeating the glorious combat history of the Pikes of World War II. But the Russians called Shark an entirely different project, number 941, also known as Typhoon. I can't help mentioning the fact that since 1990, the boats began to get names of their own. Curiously enough, all the ships made in Severodvinsk have cat names, similar to the designations of the Bars-type ships. Other ships were named after Russian cities or regions, such as the submarines Bratsk, Kuzbus, or Magadan. Project 971 was developed to the same specifications as Project 945 Barracuda. Such a decision helped to reduce the time to create the sharks and the cost of the design part. The main difference was the use of steel instead of expensive titanium. Shuki B is made according to the classical, for the Russian shipbuilding, two-hold scheme. The light hole of the subs is covered with a special anti-radar layer. Project 971 has a vertical tail with a streamlined bola that houses a towed antenna. There are also retractable bow horizontal rudders and two thrusters. The tail is smoothly coupled to the hull, which helps reduce noise during movement. The vessel is 113 meters, 372 feet long, and has a displacement of 8,000 tons. The outstanding feature of the Shuka B is an unprecedented low noise operation, which was reached due to the double cascade shock absorbing system. This system implies the installation of all noisy internal mechanisms on shock absorbing foundations, as well as the separation of units and aggregates from the hull by special shock absorbers. Since entering service in 1996, the vessels have been equipped with active vibration reduction systems, the Vepper Akula II. The U.S. Navy claims that at 5 to 7 knots, the Russian submarines make less noise than their direct competitors, the Los Angeles-class submarines. In addition, the latter can detect a Soviet ship at a range of no more than 10 kilometers, and that under favorable conditions. An interesting fact is that the low-noise seven-blade propellers, which make the submarines run so quietly, were made thanks to Japanese metal-cutting machines from Toshiba. A high-profile scandal erupted around this event, which resulted in U.S. sanctions against the Japanese manufacturer. Project 971 differed from other third-generation Soviet submarines in greater automation of shipboard equipment. This significantly reduced the size of the crew, which now numbered 73, including 31 officers. Sailor living conditions were also significantly improved, and a rescue surfacing chamber was installed to rescue all crew members. The submarines are equipped with unique equipment for detecting surface ships and submarines called SOX, Carrier Track Detection System, thanks to hydrodynamic sensors that detect changes in temperature and salinity it's possible to recognize the trail of the enemy even hours after it's passed. In addition to this system comes the Hydroacoustic Complex SCAT-3 with digital data processing. Its target detection range is about 220 to 230 kilometers, which is three times the range of the second-generation boats. In addition, the complex can simultaneously track up to 30 targets. Among other technologies used on the submarine, it's worth mentioning that the Symphonia U navigation system, the Molnia MC satellite radio system, and the Radian radar system. The ship will be powered by OK650M OK thermal neutron reactor. It's assisted by two electric motors, 
410 horsepower each and two diesel generators, 750 horsepower each. The above water speed is 11.6 knots, a little over 20 kilometers an hour, and the submarine speed is about 33 knots, 61 kilometers an hour. The submarine is capable of diving to a depth of 600 meters and can stay underwater for up to 100 days. Shark's armament includes eight torpedo tubes, four of them 533 millimeter caliber, use type 53 torpedoes or Vyuga RPK-2 and Votopad RPK-6 missile systems. Another four 650 millimeter caliber use kit torpedoes type 65 or wind missile RPK-7. Upgraded versions such as the Vepper are equipped with caliber cruise missiles 971M with underwater launch capability. In December 2015, the Rostov Andon diesel boat, B-237, first struck militant positions in Syria with them, making the missiles world famous. Among other things, the ship is capable of carrying granite-type missiles with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers, as well as MDM-1-type mines. To keep up with the times, Project 971 ships began undergoing modernization at the Zvedaka Ship Repair Center in 2014 during which four submarines of this type, K-328, Leopard, K-461, Wolf, K-391, Bratsk, and K-295, Samara, approach the characteristics of the fourth generation. As I said earlier, the Russian Navy currently has 11 Shuk Bs. The most powerful ship of this series is the Gepard, which in the West is designated Akula 3. Sharks have aroused interest not only at home but also in foreign countries. In 2004, the Indian Navy was planning to lease two such boats from Russia, but three years later only received the state arsenal, which was named Chakra. The second submarine, called K-152 Nerpa, is connected with the tragedy in 2008 when 20 people died from suffocation due to the malfunctioning of a fire extinguishing system. Later in 2012, official Delhi purchased another submarine, and seven years later, the country struck a deal for $3 billion to lease the third submarine for 10 years. Information about the military use of the Pikes is not very extensive. Over the past three decades, they've been off the U.S. coast, in the Mediterranean Sea, and in the Gulf of Mexico, where they went undetected for a long time. The commanders of the submarines, Panther, Leopard, and Tiger, were awarded the highest honorary title of Russia, Hero of the Russian Federation for their combat services. Shukas repeatedly participated in the filming so the ship can be seen in the films Crimson Tide and Red October. In video games, this model is also very popular. And although these ships are not the last generation of submarines, they are still faithfully serving, and their small size, low noise, and good armament make them real hunters. What do you think about the nuclear submarines of Project 971? Answers are waiting in the comments below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.